Hey everyone. It's me, Bab. Uh, let me give you uh, a quick impromptu. Uh, first impressions, thoughts on this. Fragrance One, Office for Men. Jeremy Fragrance, made in Germany. When I first sprayed this, when I first sprayed this on my skin, I got a real strong uh, Blue de Chanel vibe coming off my skin. And I'm like, yeah, okay, I get it. And then, you know, a little Sauvage, like everyone was saying, and Aventus, um, I guess, I don't know, I'm not a, a, a big uh, Aventus critic. And then I started wearing it. I wore it like twice. And immediately when I, after the first day, as I'm wearing it at work, and it's, uh, it's a great performer, okay? So put that behind you. We all, everyone says the same thing. I said, wait a minute, this smells like something. And um, it takes a while, right? Sometimes it's obvious, but you don't, and then you're looking through your stuff. And, and plus, I might, I have a, I have only my stuff, right? So maybe somebody with a, a bigger collection and I don't know uh, uh, stuff that I don't have, it might smell like that. But from what I can tell, it's a strong opinion, it smells like these two. This is uh, X-Batch, which I love. This is X-Batch. And this, well, you all know what this is, 2016 Aqua. It smells like a third of this. These two mixed together. More of this and this. So obviously you get the Sauvage and the Aventus mixed with that. Or the PVI and uh, Sauvage. And then it, it has a strong floral note. This has a strong floral note, which I like. It's a little piercing. And it's screechy, headachey. But, it, you know, it doesn't have to be perfectly round all the way. And colognes are... are uh, a little headache inducing uh, in general a lot of them but it has the salty ambergris sea notes of this thing and about a year ago I made a small video on like what he might come out with and I mentioned Havas and this like maybe he wants to come out with a strong heavy aquatic that lasts right so aquatics don't last and, but Havas sure does, right? They, they certainly found out something over there at Rasasi. And then this, right? This was this was a gem, and they but they couldn't keep it up, right? They probably put too much expensive ingredients in it. So this incorporates these two. And I'll stand behind a really strong opinion that I love the X-Batch myself. I love it. For fun occasions just like this daytime nighttime parties barbecues carnivals everything right not much for work right too playful very playful stuff this this so i think this is playful even more than it's for the office i like it a lot i like it and bottom line is i'm glad to contribute to uh to, to part of his program i know it's expensive but you're contributing to is uh, getting off the ground. That's why it comes in a box. I knew it was going to come in a brown box with no cap, and I don't care about that. And I'm glad to have the original. Maybe he'll change it when he comes out with this nice bottle. But uh, I won't get it again. I'll just have this. Like, I won't get the intense of this. I'm happy with the regular X batch. And uh, keep on wearing those strong, freshy aquatics that are good here for Hawaii. For the night time because it's hot here all the time and uh, you sweat a lot a lot of stuff off so those of you who know these and probably a lot of you out there don't know what these smell like because uh, they're not niche or this one's gone and then this is not readily available but if you like Sauvage and Aventus then you gotta try out PVI and X-Batch, in my opinion. I love Savage. I'm in the minority. I like the 
Ambroxan being syntheticness. Just love it. And then this, I just love the saltiness of it. Uh, just wish I had two bottles of that. Um, but a lot of you out there probably hate a lot of this stuff. And this is uh, no big deal if you're missing it. But uh, I like it. And I just want to put it down out there on this blog that it really has a strong presence of this. Plus some floral notes. It doesn't say what kind of florals, right? It just says floral notes. There's probably jasmine in it and all that. Um, and uh, it's a banger. It, it, uh, it bounces off the skin. It vibrates. So I'm glad to have it. I'll wear it more at work and around to uh, get a firmer opinion on it. And uh, it probably won't just sit there gathering dust. So I want to thank everyone for watching. All the dozen of you. Including uh, big hitters like Christo and, and uh, Eugene. Just uh, enjoy. Enjoy wa watching your stuff. Um, remember it's just perfume. Use it to enhance your life. No biggie. And uh, you know, there's a lot of other stuff also that are important. So uh, get passionate but not too passionate. So I think Jeremy Fragrance did a great job and it smells like these two. So we'll see what he comes out with next. Maybe I'll be interested, maybe not. Um, but you know, we'll see how he's doing with this, you know. We'll see how he's doing. Lots of interest, lots of viewership. In any case, aloha to everyone. Take care. And uh, like I said, like Manny says, wear your fragrances and enjoy. Keep the passion going. Raja. See you.